Sharon Pedro, no doubt emotional for Jennifer Siebel Newsom, who took the stand today. He, she is the fourth accuser of Weinstein's, and today she gave a detailed interaction about how the two met, what he allegedly did to her, and then what happened after. A difficult and graphic day of testimony as Jennifer Siebel Newsom takes the stand, briefly bursting into tears before identifying Harvey Weinstein. She addresses the court saying, he's wearing a suit, a blue tie, and he's staring at me. The documentary filmmaker and the wife of California Governor Gavin Newsom is the fourth woman to testify, accusing Weinstein of sexual assault. She says she met the former movie mogul back in 2005 at a Toronto film festival. There, she says he seemed genuinely interested in her career. He later asked to meet her back at a Beverly Hills hotel. She assumed it would be at a bar. Instead, she was escorted to his suite. Siebel Newsom says she felt uncomfortable and hesitant, but stayed, saying he could make or ruin your career. Then describes being alone with Weinstein. The two ate and spoke for a short time. That's when she says he got up and called her from the back room. When she entered, he was only wearing a robe and thought maybe he was hurt. That's when she describes in detail Weinstein forcing himself on her, fully nude. She says he raped her, explaining she felt powerless, saying, I felt tremendous shame and basically was still processing this all. He had taken a piece of me. And Jennifer Siebel Newsom, it will take the stand tomorrow morning. She did finish up today being cross-examined by Weinstein's crew, asking her how the two interacted following this meeting, this initial meeting. And she said that they bumped into each other, that Harvey Weinstein acted weird around her, but that she was just trying to play the game. As for now, she says that she is speaking out for all victims of Weinstein's, even though he's already serving a 23-year sentence. She once again will take the stand tomorrow or take the witness stand tomorrow morning. That's the very latest live in downtown LA. Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. All right, Jennifer, thank you.